Hi lovely air signs, welcome to Joy Energy Tarot, I'm Jenny. This is your weekly intuitive reading for the week of the 27th of March right through to the 2nd of April. So if you've got a 27 or a 9 in your chart, you think about the about humanity and about the community. Often people with 9s are found in the helping sort of industry like firemen, ambulance people, hospital workers, things like that, but where you are helping people. But you can become quite pedantic and fussy over the uh, small things rather than looking at the big picture. And let's go on to the second. If you've got a two in your birthday um, numbers, this is about balance. You are very good at supporting people. You don't really like to lead. You love being the supporter. You're very good at seeing both sides of a story and you like peace and harmony. Okay, so we've got the reading here and then we've got lovely guided messages from your angels and ancestors by Kyle Gray. So, what's happening for you guys? Well, you're starting off the week with, you won't like this, patience. So whatever, whatever it is that you're planning and you're doing it with love, as long as you focus on love as being the way of looking at situations, um, this brings the balance into your life. But this is all about being patient. So whatever it is that you've been planning or looking forward to, you have to little, wait a little while for it to come to fruition. But don't worry about it because the next card right next to it is the sun. So when it happens, it's going to bring you joy and happiness. You're going to be feeling fantastic. And if you're asking questions, the answer is yes. The sun is a great card to have. So it covers, as you know, like with the universe, the sun is what makes us stay alive. It's just wonderful. And for those of you wanting a relationship or in a relationship, the sun card is next to the lovers. So that means this is, you're going to have joy and happiness covering your relationship. For those of you that are single, this is about connecting with someone to create something new. So it could be in your family, it could be a lover, it could be somebody that you work with, but you're working with people who, um, where you create new things and it makes you feel quite good. And it's positive. But towards the end of the week, though, you do need a break. This is where you need to get outside, sit somewhere quietly in a garden, at the beach, in the bush. Just sit peacefully away from everybody um, to get your thoughts back together, to be able to be calm, to calm down and tune in with the universe, where you'll often just receive messages, you know, thoughts that come into your head randomly, are messages from your guides and your ancestors, if that's what you're looking for. And then covering your temperance card, we, you have got the Queen of Swords. So I feel that some of you are waiting for news. Could be from a lawyer um, or someone that will, uh, that's really clever, really wise and works for the, with their brain. But because this is the air signs, this can be you too. This is where you may not have gone to university, but you are very, very wise. You've learned through the School of Knox. So this is where you, oh, sorry, the school, some of you, the School of Hard Knocks, most of you or all of you through the School of Life. So um, the Queen of Swords is telling you don't underestimate your own ability because you've got lots of information that you've learnt and you're rising above everything, seeking the truth, looking for where you want to be next and planning. Underneath the sun is the Seven of Cups, so you may be feeling overwhelmed with emotion um, this week where there's so much happening, you're, you're busy, um, you're feeling you know, quite emotional about everything. But it doesn't matter what decision you make, you will always make the right decision because that's where you need to be to learn your lessons in life. These cards are great, she's pointing to one star. So when you do feel overwhelmed, write down all the choices you've got or write down lists of um, if you're going away or doing something like that or trying to decide on a job. Get it out of your mind so you not, haven't, haven't got things rushing around all over the place. But this card is a reminder to focus on your goals or focus on one thing at a time. Now for some of you, underneath that lover's card is the death card. So something that you've been working on with other people is now ending. It's coming to an end and you've got the joy and the sun card and the happiness. So whatever you're dealing with, the, um, the it's the ending of it now. And this is going to help you transform. And also you are transforming into a new person as well. You are growing. Look at the lovely flowers. You are growing. So um, take it how it resonates. It can be you, um, a situation where you are growing from that situation or the situation you're in is ending as well. And underneath the um, Hermit card, you have got the Seven of Swords. So seeing you've got two sevens, this is about overcoming your fears. 
okay false emotion appearing real so i'm a real firm believer in louise hayes positive affirmations and using positive affirmations so for example um if you're scared of driving every time you get in the car or just before it you say i am very good at driving i am always good at driving i am safe and i am good at driving um you can ask your angels to keep you safe as well but this card here is about where things have gone wrong in the past and that's where they belong, in the past. You can't change the past. You can live in the now and you can plan for the future. But this is if some of you are um, starting something or you've invented something or you're starting a new um, business or something like that, keep your plans close to your chest because there are people out there who try and steal your ideas. But this is more about now you learning from what happened to you in the past so that that won't happen to you again and about overcoming your fears because sevens are all about learning following your intuition this is a sevens are quite psychic especially if you've got a, if you've got a seven in your birth date you are very intuitive and very psychic this is about can be about uh, moving house um, starting a new job but for the majority of you it's about looking at things differently so looking at things positively being grateful every day and then covering the whole week you have got some sort of news that you've been waiting for and that could be to do with the um, patients and now it's starting to come in is um, information coming in it's coming in real fast this is all about somebody coming in too also it can be a person um, arriving quickly with what you really want and this helps you start off on your new um, like adventure so whatever it is that you've been working on that's coming to an end now this is coming in this is helping you end a situation and you're feeling great and there you have the four of wands right next to it so this is where home and work are all balanced um it is a card that represents marriages um, <clears throat> but in New Zealand, hardly anyone gets married anymore. <laughs> so it's about partnerships, relationships, where you're very, very happy. It's like a double 11. And this happy relationship and partnership, I feel for some of you, it could be with a Queen of Swords or a real estate agent or somebody like that as well. The happy relationships that you've got are giving you the freedom, allowing you to be free, to be who you are. And you've got the Queen of Wands right next to it. So the the covering the whole week, Knight of Wands, information, news coming in quickly. It could be a young person coming in quickly. Four of Wands, um, feeling happy. Everything at home and work is organised and balanced. And you've got the Queen of Wands. So this could be the person that's bringing this in. This could be you being in control. This is a boss. This is a leader. This is someone who's got the energy. So for some of you, this person is there to help you and guide you. You can get information off, off you. The sort of person that goes out and gets stuff done. They don't sit around and dither and keep weighing up um, things. They, are, they do plan, but they're strong and they know what they want and they're assertive. This can be you taking control of your life as well. So it's quite an interesting reading because it's got a lot happening actually. And so hopefully you can choose what resonates with you. Okay, so let's get on with your guided messages um, from, from your ancestors and angels. So Gemini, you are first. <clears throat> okay, Gemini, what do you need to know? So two fell out for you, but I'm going to read... Um, I'm going to read one of them, but I just the this one here is just a bit of advice. You've got broken arrows, so embrace the energy of peace. So I just feel that whatever's happening in your life and whatever you're doing or going through, do it peacefully, okay? But your main card is mirror guardian. Take time to reflect. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right. So take time to reflect. And do it with love and do it peacefully. Embrace the energy of peace. So you've also got this one, mirror, guardian, take time to reflect. So whatever's happening, take time to reflect. Take some time to reflect on your strengths and your challenges and how far you've come. Recognize your gifts. You are a beautiful being who has surmounted so many challenges and expanded in so many ways. Your angels are now guiding you to take the inventory of your life, to take the time to note all of your recent experiences, the challenges you have surmounted, the strengths you have developed, and the lessons that you have learned. Um, 
Let's say your angels want you to reflect on your strengths, in particular those aspects of yourself that you feel have not been acknowledged to by others. O um, offer yourself approval where it's due and know that when you give yourself credit, others will be able to do so as well. Very, very important message, Gemini. Okay, have a lovely week, Gemini. Right, Libra, what do you need to know? Okay, Libra. Heart Guardian. So, you have got Heart Guardian. Oh, it's beautiful. Suits Libra. Isn't that gorgeous? Love and let yourself be loved, Libra. Welcome with open arms, opportunities to give and receive love. You are love, lovable and loving. The energy of love is surrounding your whole world at this time. Angels are swirling around you, encouraging you to open your heart and reveal the blessings that you have to offer. They want you to know that you are a highly loving being who deserves to give and receive love, Libra. If you're finding it challenging to feel love at this time, it's important for you to give yourself credit where it's due. You are also encouraged to welcome support from others. Learn to receive. Don't try and do everything on your own. If you're working on a relationship or in a new relationship, this card can usher in energies that allow you to forge a powerful connection with your partner. Love is in the air. Woohoo, Libra. Okay, and now Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, what do you need to know? Oh, you've got Arrow. Okay. Right, Aquarius. Arrow. So what this means, surround yourself with protective energy. Surround yourself with positive people and experiences and environments that make you feel safe, Aquarius. Call on your angels, guides and ancestors to bring you protection. If you're in a situation where you feel that not everything is as clear as it seems, trust your intuition. There are energies in your current situation that aren't fully aligned with your intentions or goals or with kindness. <clears throat> Excuse me. Follow your intuition about whom to trust and what to trust. That goes in alignment with the Seven of Swords, definitely. If you can take time to retreat, <gasps> yes, that's the hermit, or step out of this situation to assess what is going to be beneficial for you, do so. In any event, this is the time to call on the energy of protection and to place yourself in a space that feels safe. So you ask when you're going somewhere, um, please, as you get in the car, please surround me with um, loving protection angels. You can actually um, visualize surrounding yourself with a mirror shield so that anybody's negative thoughts will mirror back to them. Okay, and then when you've been in a crowded place, when you get home, have a shower, cleanse your aura. Okay, go and do something to wash away any negative energy. If you're a sensitive person or you're an empath, you can often pick up other people's energies, like when you've been to Kmart or the warehouse or Mitre 10. These are just New Zealand companies. But when you've been in crowds, everybody's energy is like that. And unfortunately, at the moment, because of things that have happened around the world, there's a lot of negative energy floating around. Um, so do things to positive affirmations and to keep yourself positive and to protect yourself. Okay, lovelies, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you have the most amazing week. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every one of you. Blessings to you all. Ka and all. See you all again. Bye.